Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you all of these new items that are coming to the Erin Condren website. Some of them are already on there, but we're gonna go through them. So a few months ago, I think, um, the Erin Condren team emailed the affiliates and asked us to pitch ideas to them. So those of us whose ideas were used in some of the products were sent the line. So I guess they used some of my, I had some ideas for like a self-care journal. And so I pitched some self-care ideas and they were used in some of these items. And um, you know, my goal this year, over the past few years, I've been just super, super busy running, you know, working two jobs, running a business, going to school and raising five kids. And this year is my year of self-care. Um, and that includes health mentally, physically, and, you know, emotionally, you know, I just feel like that's something I need this year. So I pitched that to them because it's actually something that I want. So they sent me all these like health and self care items. I don't know if there are other items that are being put on the website. All I know is what I have. And that is these five journals. And then this item, which I think is already on the website. So we'll start with this one. This is a notepad. I am not a huge notepad user because I have so many journals and so I don't, or not journals, but I have so many planners so I don't necessarily need to pull out a notepad. But I love this for people who have a weekly view and just occasionally need a little bit more, you know, a little bit more of a to-do list. So let me open this and I'll show it to you. So this is the notepad. You have my wellness goals up here. It says week of, and then action steps, a blank, place here and then you have this habit tracker this weekly habit tracker so it says daily water intake goal you can write that in and mark when you did it daily step goal you can set it here and then put that in here nightly sleep goal and then you can put that in and then there's three blank slots that you can use however you wish this is in like the in bloom flora designs i'm not totally sure how many pages are in this but it's it's a good fair amount so this will last if not a full year I think it will last most of the year, especially if this isn't something that you want to use every single day. Um, but I love this as a companion to a planner, a weekly planner specifically, something that you can kind of keep on display and make sure that you are keeping your goals. And yeah, so it's the same every week, same design every day. So really beautiful. I actually ordered this for myself um, and then they sent it to me. So I have two of these. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. The rest of these things I believe are new or revamped of things that they've already had on their website. So we're gonna go through each of these one at a time. I'll zoom you in and show you. Oh, be before we do that, they did also send me these highlighters. I have the Flora set of this. I actually don't have this one. This is the Harmony Colorful. Basically what these are, are their, um, they're highlighters on this side. What is this? Like a navy highlighter? Anyway, let's, I'll show you these really quick, but these are chiseled, t what is this? I'm still like, why would you want a, this dark of a highlighter? Let's do it on, ooh, that is beautiful. Um, Hold on, let me zoom you in. Okay, this is like a gorgeous royal blue. I don't know, it's obviously not a highlighter. These are more like markers in the shape of a highlighter. There's a highlighter. So they have like this minty green. Here's the purple. Okay, so you could use that as a highlighter. That's a really pretty purple. And then you have a blue. These are really pretty colors. The peachy color. And I love that. And then like a, um, that's like the September color, I guess. I'm assuming that these are supposed to be like the monthly colors inside of the Erin Condren. That is the most beautiful blue ever. And then you have coordinating dual tip markers. So they look just, you know, they're like a dual tip marker um, with the chisel, the pen on one side. So it's just a blue pen. And then this looks like, oh, and then you have the thick marker on the other in the same color. So it matches with the highlighter and then you have these in all of the colors that you that I just highlighted. So that's what these are. I really, really love my Flora one that I have and use it all the time. But I love Erin Condren highlighters. I think that their highlighters are 
are awesome. They're a little expensive, so I don't always, you know, I buy them whenever they're on sale, but I think that they're, I really do think that they're good. So, all right, there you go. That was the other thing they sent me. So let's, let's now get into all the planners. Most of the time when you buy these like pre-made kind of prompted journals, you don't have a lot of customization options. So you won't be able to customize, I don't know this for sure, but I'm assuming you won't be able to customize the cover, you won't be able to change the quill, and you won't be able to customize the inside. These are all undated so they can be used anytime and just used when, when it's needed. This first one has this cover that has the Harmony Neutral on it and says happiness blooms from within. Another thing, every single one of these has a metallic cover. This one does as well, it has the silvery, lettering and it has the platinum coil to match so cute um this is the self-care notebook so this um this is probably the one that i and like had inspired the most i know that they've done things like this before so i don't know that it was all new from i don't even remember what i suggested <laughs> all i remember is saying talking about some ideas to put into a health and self-care journal so it, i don't they said that i i inspired some things i don't know they didn't tell me specifically um, okay, so it has this title page saying I am a priority, which I love. And then the quotes inside of this go along with self-care and self-love, and I, I really love it. They have three months. These are the three months here. So this is a three-month um, self-care journal, which I think is a great amount of time to kind of focus on yourself, make it a priority, and have it. 90 days is a great amount of time to create a habit. So, um... And then it goes through how to use this journal, setting up the month, weekly planning and reflection. This this book is a lot of reflecting and journaling and it would be a really, a really great thing. So self-care that works for you, it has you go through and write down some things that resonate with you with self-care and things that you can do for yourself. And then you have this checking in, what self-care means to me, how my self-care is right now, why self-care is important and my self-care intentions, what you wanna do with this. So this is kinda of like setting your goals within self-care. Then you have this monthly self-care tracking. So I just super love this page. It has your monthly self-care tracking and then the days of the week. So what I plan on doing is writing down the self-care things that I want to do here. I'll probably put like a thick line here to um, separate the different weeks of the month and do it like that. So I love this page so much. And then it gets into the actual month. So you are always worth taking care of. This month's self-care intention, what I'm excited about this month, and new forms of self-care self I'm trying. So once you get into the month, you actually separate those month goals into your weeks. So self-care for this week will be what self-care support will be this week and what I'm looking forward to. And then a blank box. And then you have a page for every day. So today's positive thought, my moods today, sleep log, and then today's self-care. You can use this for journaling, affirmations, so many different options. And again, this is undated. So if I wanted to spread this out over many months, which I may end up doing because I'm, you know, not always super consistent. But yeah, so it has enough for every day of the week and then you have a reflection at the end of the week so how i took care of myself this week self-care that worked the best part of the week and next week i will and then it goes into repeating for the for the next week so you reflect and then you have the days of the week so each of these is colored with that matches the tab so this month is like this mauvey color then you have this beautiful peachy pink dusty pink i guess is a better term and then it has all of the dusty pink pages then you have this tan creamy color and the last month is that color so it's really neutral and beautiful and that is the end you do have some stickers oh here's there's a couple pages at the end that i didn't see so let's go through these all right so this is like a reflection of the past three months working on this for three months Self-care went, how did self-care go for three months? What I noticed, what changed, how I asked for help, how I received self-care support from others, how self-care has evolved, and then it, it just more more prompts for a few, a few spreads. So then you get these really cute stickers, boxes, flags, um, some really beautiful affirmations and florals, and some more functional stickers. So I love it. It's very simple and 
and easy to use. I don't love the cover and I wish it had a gold coil because I'm always, I always love a gold coil. But you know, luckily these are interchangeable covers so you can switch them out. And I don't, I like a, I like the platinum coil. All the other ones have a coil that is a fun, a fun metallic color. So um, this is the only one that doesn't, but I do love the neutrality of it. And I know a lot of people, that's what they, what they lean towards. So let's get into the next ones. This is probably my favorite cover of the bunch. Uh, the only thing I really don't love is that you can see the design on the page under right there. And I don't know why that bothers me, but I just don't like it that much. The cover seems like it's further over than most Erin Condren covers, doesn't it? Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I love this cover. It is has the gold accents and the matching gold coil. This is the fitness planner. So I think I suggested a bunch of fitness things too. That's a big focus of mine. I love CrossFit. I know people don't like hearing CrossFitters talk about how much they love CrossFit, because <laughs> they can be annoying. But there's a reason, it is so fun. It is so fun. and. It's so fulfilling and so like, oh my gosh, it's so neat to see how strong you can really be. And I feel like CrossFit just has this amazing community. Anyway, I have really been, I was super, super like consistent. We would go most, most weeks, we would go five days a week um, for years. I've been doing it for seven years now. Um, and then when I was in nursing school the past couple years, we have been, I want to say like fairly inconsistent. So I don't think there's not many weeks we've missed a week, but there are a lot of weeks that we only went once or twice. So I have gone way downhill in my fitness and my strength is just not there. I was doing bench presses yesterday and I'm like, I, well, you know, just putting on the pounds that I used to put on the barbell and I could not do it. I couldn't do it. And it made me feel really bad. So fitness is something that I, that I want to do um, this year. I believe this is a four month. Yeah, this is a four month fitness planner. So you would need three if you want to have one for a complete year. But again, I feel like a lot of these, it's a focus that you can do for a short amount of time to create a habit. And so you may not need this all year long. I am plan on starting with, I can't decide which one, I'll show you. There's a couple that I'm trying to decide between. This fitness planner is very appealing to me and I love the color. See, I'm a bright, I know, I know neutrals are like the thing, but bright colors are where my heart is, and so I love it. So it starts off with checking in, what health means to me, what fitness and movement means to me, you know, and just a bunch of like prompts and questions to go through that. Then you set goals for the month. So every month you have, you have a page where you set goals. And look how cute these colors are. You have like a an orange, kind of a pinky orange. You have this really pretty mauve and then kind of a magenta color and then this gorgeous purpley blue so i love the colors in this so much set goals and then action steps and then you have a month at a glance so this is probably where i would lay out what days i'm planning to go running what days i'm planning to do crossfit and um, it's all blank so you can start at any time then you have this page where you have movement and your reps and your weights your movement intensity time distance so this would be better for like your running or or biking or something like that how it felt water intake um, total steps total hours slept today's win self-care so this also includes a lot of those things and then you have a monthly check-in same things but it's more like how's it going like what's happening and then you have the month of this cute color and then a monthly check-in with the month of this cute magenta. I love the colors in this book. And then the cute purple pages. At the end, you have celebrating your progress and you can talk about how I feel in my body, I am capable of, I'm proud of my accomplishments. And then you have some really great notes pages in the back, which um, I think this would be a great place to put um, favorite meals down that you have found or, um, or maybe even tracking like if you're doing couch to 5k you could lay those out here and um what you have to do each week i don't know it's it's good and you get so you get a few notes pages in the back and this cover is 
my favorite of all the covers. It's so cute. So there's the fitness. Okay, next up you have this one with the color blends, color blends cover and it says don't forget your vision. It has a gold coil on it. So this is the goal setting planner. Um, instead of monthly tabs, these are goal plan tabs. So you have goal one, goal two, goal three, and these really cute colors. You have the the kind of classic, these are some classic Erin Condren colors. They're, they're like darker pink, lighter pink. The um, orange, that green, and the like that we see in the Erin Condren planner. So this very much coordinates with the Erin Condren color blends colors and um, would look great with the, any, you know, Harmony colorful as well. I love goal setting systems. I think that they are so fun. I've used several and um, yeah, I just love that this is an option for Erin Condren users. So the beginning of this planner, you, it has you go through kind of your why and your values. It has some prompts at the beginning. It's very easy to set up and you can create space. It's, I want to create more space in my, and it has checklists and how you can create more space. Um, you have a goal brainstorm, permission and support, what you're letting go of, what you want, how you need support to create, to get these goals in your life. And that is how it begins. Let's get into the goal one here. Uh, for this, you have a goal overview. You, it has you set your goal, the goal type, if it's personal, career, or financial, or you can create your own area here. So this is kind of like the area of life that it is. Start date, projected finish date, and then the actual finish date, and the important dates within this. You have your goal, why it's important, and then you can create an action plan, helpful habits for this goal. And then it has this page of action steps. One of my goals is weight loss. I gained I gained some weight during nursing school and stress is usually when I gain when I gain weight when I'm just not focused on me. Plus I stopped working out like I said. <laughs> so I just wasn't consistent. So I have a few pounds that I want to lose. It is something that is pretty important to me and um, just to feel good about myself and where I am health wise. I I know that that can be triggering but I will say a weight loss goal is really easy to talk about within like action steps. So I'm going to kind of talk about how I would use this with my weight loss as one of my goals. I would put this as a personal goal. Um, start date I would put now. I've already started working on this. My projected finish date is not something that I would put down for weight loss. It's just not something that can be measured or even like, I don't know. I guess I could guesstimate when I would would do it, but I don't know. For weight loss, because it's kind of personal and I, like I can't control when the finish is, as even if I do everything perfect, I can't control when I, like the actual date of when I would get there, I probably would leave that one blank. But I would, once I hit the goal, I'll fill this, the, you know, the finish date in. Important dates you could put here, like um, dates that you're going on vacation, when you might project that you won't lose or that you might gain a little. Um, or important dates could be like every Saturday I'm weighing in or something like that. I don't know. Um, you could do very tons of things with this. For the goal, I would actually put my my goal weight that I have. That can be triggering for some people. So if you don't want to have a goal weight, maybe your goal would be I want to fit into a certain jeans again or your projected goal could be I want to feel good in my my own skin or your goal could be something that I'm working on with my life coach is I'm worth the time it takes to do this I am worth the time you know so because losing weight does take time with meal prep it does take time for working out and I am worth it so I am probably going to put more like affirmations here with my goal weight and then why it's important. Um, it's important for my health. It's important for my self-esteem. It's important for my future self that I can continue to live healthy for a long time and be a parent for a long time. Goal action plan here is where I would put like how often I plan on working out, how I am going to prep meals to be more full, you know, healthy and whole and what, you know, I would put those sorts of things there. Helpful habits for this goal. For the habits that I want to create, I want to have a day of prep for the week. I want to have a day when I meal plan and order groceries. And I also want to start, I know this is, this is, seems like so like minuscule, but it's something that helps me a ton. I'm going to lay out my workout clothes every night. 
Um, it makes it so I get there on time. It makes it so I, um, I don't know, it's just one less thing to, to worry about when I'm waking up so early in the morning that I, I don't want to hunt down clothes. So that is something I'm going to put there. I love this page. This is step towards the goal. For this, I am going to put um, maybe like five pound or three pound increments to get to my goal weight. And I am going to put a reward in that section too. So what I'm doing for a reward is every little step, I'm going to give myself a certain amount of money in a jar. <laughs> And at the end, when I reach the goal, I get to take that jar and go buy new clothes because I know I'll need some when I am at more of my goal weight. And then you have these weekly check-ins. So this is also really important. Whenever you're doing a goal, if you have something, having a time to check in on yourself is really important. So um, this week's plan, and then you can have you know your to-do list to reach those plans, how this week went and what I'm celebrating. So down here are, is more reflection at the end of the week. And this you set up at the beginning of the week to create your, your goals. So you have one, two, three, four, 18 weeks. So this is about four months worth of weeks. If you have some weeks that have, or months that have five weeks, it's gonna be about four months worth in here. And then celebrating this goal, how it feels to achieve the goal, what worked to achieve the goal, what didn't work to achieve this goal, how I've grown, what I've learned, and how I'm celebrating this goal. In four months, I probably will not reach my goal weight. Um, so I might use, you know, multiple of these for that goal. Uh, oh, look, there's another. There's a goal six, too. So there's a purple. So you have goal two. It's going to be the same. Goal three, which is... These are color blends, so they have like a gradient in them. Really, really pretty. Goal four, goal five, and goal six. And then at the very end, you have a reflection section. So these are, you write down your accomplishments, progress I've made, habits I've developed, and then there is just a ton of this. So this is, this is things I've learned on this section. This one is about celebrating this work, looking ahead. That is it. So then you have some really fun um, stickers at the end of this one. I love their pen stickers. And they're all gold to match. And that is it for this one. So really, really awesome goal setting planner that I think is so fun. I love colors, especially with goals. It just makes me happy. So, all right, so that's the third book. Okay, this next one has this like color blends background with mid-century circles. I think it's so cute. It has a um, gold coil. And this is the Book Lover's Journal. So last year they came out with a book log kind of like this, but it was for kids. Maybe I should grab it and we can look at the differences. All right, so here is the, this is the kids reading log. I don't think this is necessarily kid only. And I love this coil. I wish they would offer this in more of their products. It's only on their kids stuff, but I really, really love this um, plastic clear coil. So this is what this one looks like. Um, it has like the rainbow theme. I believe this is still for sale on their website. And we'll look at the difference just so you can kind of decide which one works best for you. So the reader's log, one thing I love in this is, well, I guess it's, it's here. This is the daily reading tracker. So you have, you, you know, your different months of the year. This looks like two years worth of reading tracking you can mark the days that you actually read and then your reading goals this one's so cute and fun um so it has reading goals which look nearly identical except this one says reward and this one says how i'll celebrate and this one's much more colorful the kid one it's so cute i don't think it looks like kiddish though so the kid one has two spreads worth of this and this one only has one but this one has eight and this one only has six on a spread. So this has 12, the other one has eight. This one also has some things that like some of my favorite book characters are, my top favorite books. Um, so this one does have a reading log and this one has this as the daily reading tracker. So this one offers like a several pages of reading log to keep track of what you're reading on what days and how many minutes. And I think that's kind of unique to kids. Like I don't know if I'm gonna keep track of how many minutes I read, but you know, maybe that's something that, that you would do. Then they both have this book rating page. So 
This one is much less colorful. It has title, author, date started, um, date finished. So these all have the same things. They're just set in different orders. This says book, ebook, audiobook. This says I read the book for school, reading challenge, fun, which this one. Oh, this one read for fun, book club, work, school, reading, goal. So they have similar things. This one just obviously has some questions that wouldn't correspond to someone who wasn't in school or reading level. I don't think that that necessarily goes along. This one has genre recommended by I recommend this book. Yes or no, this one I had recommend this book. Anyway, what I thought of the book, what this book was about, my favorite part of this book, my favorite part of this book. So this one's more like a book report and this one is more um, kind of open. Then over on the kid one, you have this fun page, which is different colors throughout the book. And it says thoughts, quotes, or doodles about this book. And this one says thoughts, quotes, or memorable moments from this book, and then takeaways from the book. And this one is mid-century circles. I actually prefer the theme of this one, of the kid one. Um, and then this one has just tons of pages for different books that you read. So this one also has about the same amount of pages and they are different colors, but you are mid-century circles. I know some people are sick of mid-century circles. I love it. So I don't mind mid-century circles. Okay. The next tab here is book club meeting notes. And this is not something, this is not something available in the kid book. I am in a book club with my neighbors and we meet monthly. This would actually be really fun. So with the book club, you have information about the actual book and the meeting, what we discuss, memorable moments, what I want to discuss at book club. I don't know that I would need this, like to memorable moments. I would prefer, like what I we what I want to discuss at book club, I like this because I, I could kind of take notes as I'm reading the book of things I want to bring up during our discussion. And then I would just put this on. I wish that the, this was, this part was over here and this was just a one page thing. But down here you have my book rating, book club rating, kind of what everyone, con the consensus of everyone. Um, next meets book, next meetings, book title, next meetings, author and next meetings date. So kind of planning ahead there. So I like this. I think that's really, really fun. And I wonder how many you have. So there's actually 13 book club meeting notes, which is perfect. So there's enough for a year of book club meetings and then my favorite books. So this is very similar to the next, the third tab in this, uh, kid's book where it's the favorite books ever, and this one says my favorite books, and it's the same. And then this starts with the books I want to read, and this one has a similar list that's to be read list, books I want to read, and they're the same book title, and then read. I actually love that this one has the little check mark once you've read, and this one just has a section, like a blank slot, which it doesn't really matter, but I like the check box. And that is the end of this book. It's also the end of this one. I think either one of these, they're nearly identical, just with a few variations on wording, but you could use them the same way. This one does have, or this one does have the um, book club meeting for this third tab, or for the second tab, the book club meeting notes, which this one does not have. I would probably go with this one just because I like the book club meeting, but I prefer the design of this one. So anyway, if you're a reader. And last but not least is this one, which is the wellness log. Now this is the one that I'm trying to decide, do I want the fitness one or do I wanna use this wellness log? I'm not a huge fan of the cover here. This is a cover, a variation of a cover that came out with the release. And it says, you have what it takes. I think that's a you know great sentiment. It does have rose gold coil on this one and rose gold foiling. And I think that's really pretty. I just don't, I don't know, these covers that came out with the release, I never like connected to them. I just don't really love them. Um, and it looks like this on the back. So it's not ugly, but it's just not my favorite. This does have the flora colors in here. It is all about wellness. So this is more like your all around wellness. It does have some prompts at the beginning, how you feel about your health and wellness, what health and wellness means to me, getting clear on your values, um, wellness goal brainstorm and then it has space for you to set some wellness goals so there are one two three four four wellness goals that you can kind of set and make action steps towards them create space um, 
And then I love this. So this is a give yourself permission. It has this little contract that you set with yourself. I, Hannah Craner, give myself full permission to let go of things that no longer are serving me and not aligning with my values and or are holding me back from current goals and how I wanna take care of myself and support myself. And then signature in today's date. I love that. Talks about getting support. This is a three month um, planner. So I really like that, especially with wellness goals. I think things change as you hit different goals. You find things that you you know, that matter more to you during that time. So wellness goals for month, how I'm working towards my wellness goals this month. And then it has this for each day. So for the day, you have today's focus and the date can go up here, your food log. So you have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks or whatever. Movement and exercise, today's self-care, daily tracking, you have water intake, steps, how hours slept, and overall mood, and then you can have some other things that you're keeping track of. You have that for a month's worth. And then at the end of the week, you have a weekly reflection. How this week went, what I enjoyed this week, what I noticed this week, what to adjust for next week, and what's ahead next week. So you can kind of set your intentions for the week after. Reflection super important. And then it goes to another week, then another weekly reflections, and then another week, and another weekly reflections. At the end of the month, you do have a monthly reflection place. The only thing that's really missing for me from these um, are that they're all boxes without lines, which makes me really nervous um, with my writing. I do not write straight. So I would love for these, if they don't wanna put lines in to give you more freedom, I would love to see like a doc grid in them or a graph paper so that we could do different things. How this month went, accomplishments, goal progress, what I noticed this month, and then it goes into the next month. So you can set new goals for yourself. And this one is all this pretty mint green. The first month is this baby pink. And then you have this like mauve color for the last month. So at the end of this, you have a looking back how the past three months went, what's changed in three months, what I've learned about myself, some journaling prompts, celebrating the progress. You can talk about your accomplishments and what you're, what you're capable of. And then you do have a note section in the back. This one also has some really nice self-care stickers that we've seen from Erin Condren. This, this page, I feel like they put, that they've been using for years. It's the same icons as always, but anyway, they're there. The ones I'm thinking about using, I love this wellness one. I just need to swap the cover because I'm not a huge fan, or this fitness planner. I love the, everything about this one. I love the colors, I love the tabs, so cute. But what's missing from here for me is meal planning, and you get that in here. So I'm trying to decide, I love the design. I'm not a huge rose gold person either. I prefer, I like it, I don't, I don't hate it, but um, I just prefer gold. Gold's my favorite. So um, I could bring meal planning into this. I could probably, you know, have some of these lines be meal planning of some sort and put it in here. I'm also, you know, I also already have a, a health planner that I was planning on using before they sent me these. I didn't know these were coming. I really, really enjoy these. For sure, I'll be using my book club as well. This one's so cute, but I, I just, I don't know. And then the goal planner, I, I'm already in a goal planner for it right now, but I really think this one's a beautiful idea. And last but not least, the um, self-care, which I love this as well, but I feel like there's a lot of overlap with the fitness, or the wellness has a lot of the self-care, like here's today's self-care, and then the sleep and all that stuff is in this one. I just feel like the wellness has everything that I need in it with the food log and the exercise and the self-care that I probably will will probably stick with this one. I might switch the coil for the gold. I, I really stink at um, swapping coils though. I'm not good at it. And I always feel like I mess it up, so I'm, I'm hesitant. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of all these new planners that Erin Condren is coming out with. I think you definitely don't need them all, but I think the wellness specifically is so amazing. The fitness, if your goal is just fitness, the book, I don't know, they're all great. They're all great. I really, really like them. Let me know if you're gonna pick any of them up. I will put my link below if you are planning on purchasing any of them and I would really appreciate it. It does help me keep this channel going. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. See you, bye.